guys, I'm at the college guy, and today I'm going to explain about a crazy world who and what is going on with the story. So, no, no, the story is a continuation of Crazy World 1, where it's in a different era, the Ultra Era. See, Crazy World 2 is a sequel that takes place a decade after the first part. say half of almost two decades since it takes place in the late to mid to late 1979. Spoiler about the characters, there is Tina, Wolfguy, Lavender, and a few others, Frog Guy, Jingle, and My Man, who is a random character. Now, Frostman and Ice Guy and Grumpus are the two main villains. So, who did I base many of my characters on? Well, the starters, Wolf Guy, uh, uh, Wolf Guy was actually inspired, was at, since inspired, was actually inspired. His design was actually based on certain certain cartoons with humanoid animals. That's why I had an idea of him being one of those humanoid animals. It was because of certain animations, you know, back in the fur furries and forties. And another spree inspiration of Wolf Guy and you know but you know him being a human my character was a design inspiration for personality inspiration I based him working for the Fearless Beast kind of like a kind of like kind of like a superhero version uh, of of certain characters who work with Sherlock Holmes. As for Lavender, that's a mystery of what the inspiration I got from Lavender. I got his name from a fl flower called Lavender, and that's why I have him his name called Lavender. Even though it's a dude with that name and that girl, like you would, we would expect. That's why I call him Lavender because it's named after the fl flower with the same name. As for where I based Frog, well. design of being a frog was actually obviously based on was obviously not inspiration but something I needed to plan to figure out what type of character I needed in order to have another humanoid animal like character I was going for another pet it's like a cat, but realized I wanted to plan that two sequels afterwards. So that was scrapped, and then I thought of a beaver again. A few sequels afterwards, I decided to plan a beaver character. I decided it needs to be based on based on Fibian, like a told a frog. I decided to choose a frog one. And what about and if this if this was representing the thirties and forties, why the uh, the have frog eye and have spiky hair? Well remember this was during the time, this has taken place in the timeline of the late 70s. And 
back in the 70s and 80s, spiky hair was pretty much popular back then. So don't need to ask that question, why does Frog Guy have spiky hair? And what about the other characters? My man, what are you based him on? Well, personality-wise, my man being the random character is called, is what it was, was based on, the, is, was based on the humor of the Three Stooges. The original Three Stooges. That's where his random Random sayings came from. It came from the random jokes that the Free Stooges came from, and from the random piece of dialogue that Bugs Bunny has. So that's the reason why, when you see him, he has random encounters. Then, what type of then? Why is he called my man? Because his random, uh, his random talking, you know, is supposed, you know, to trick people's minds, trick other characters' minds into irritating them. That's why. It's to trick other characters' minds into thinking that he's get one. They're thinking it. They're wanting to you know, think. That he's being serious, but really he's just joking. That's why he's called my man to trick people's minds to saying to have him say random stuff to them, but just to get them irritated. So there you go. That's why my man is called my man. And what about, what about the other characters? What are they useful? Oh, you're talking about the characters that are not main protagonists? Well, they're just there for a couple of scenes. These characters include Speed, Speed, B, the Speeding Ill, Fresh girl, a female character, is a fish. And Lavender Sisters, who only there to show, well, only share to show more of the origin stories of Lavender. And also, where, where the inspiration now came from? Well, it also came from Looney Tunes, where you just see random background characters. That's the reason why them being them being this random characters, usually in the background of the story, came from. And also from certain comics where. There are characters that are not main focus of the story. They're just random appearances. And also the fact that the reason why they're not they're not the main focus of the story because the main focus of the story is the fearless beast and the loving relationship between Tina and Mr. Calvin. That is the main, those are two things that are the main focus in the story. Not these characters that appear in the background and don't even do much besides being a reminder that there's other creatures that are out there. This I had the golden age man, the glitch man, and the long legged man, one legged man, were just random appearances would just appear for random appearances just to just to fill out the story. So 
who I represented in the 19, Crazy will represent in the 1930s and 40s. If it continues, if the comics timeline continues on off in that timeline, well, one, it's for censorship purposes to make it easier to be careful what they should and shouldn't show to the audience that want to read my comments. Two, reason why it's continue on of those decades in the timeline is because it it started out in a different dimension and they end up in a dimension they want to end up in a dimension where they can represent that decade and how long they stay in that dimension and put and free you know it's because they realized that dimension they were became dangerous became dangerous thanks to the events that happened with the bad guys, uh, Shadow Man and the Grumpus. The Grumpus is a big bad guy, but he's not the main villain. Well, he was at, he it will be at first, but not until, not until the rest of the comic. See, Grumpus is aggressive, and that's really what his name means. Grumpus actually means aggressive. You know, he's an angered being that causes destruction. Kind of like, kind of like a uh, killer, kind of like a killer croc or an evil hulk or a doomsday. Frost, the ice character, Frostman is mainly would be the main bad guy in the story. You know, and, and you know, he has a power to freeze things. Cause things that are frozen, cause physical harm, you know. And just playing about Explain what's gonna happen next. Well, soon after I done do an episode explaining about the characters, will be Crazy World and Free soon. And that's gonna have a lot of explanation of what's gonna, gonna happen in the next few sequels. And I'm Matt the Comic Guy, and that's it for now. See you in the next couple of videos. Until next year. Have a Merry Christmas. Bye.